I found last week pretty difficult. We had two <coughs> full days of hearings into the proposed legislation to end discrimination in schools, the Sex Discrimination Amendment Removing Discrimination Against Students Bill 2018. Our inquiry heard and the submissions outlined story after story of the damage being done to LGBTIQ young people, young and old, students and staff, through ongoing discrimination against them in some faith-based schools. Stories like those from a teacher who is a me member of the Independent Education Union. The teacher, working in a learning support role, shared their experience of some of their young students who were bullied because they were perceived to be gay. The first was a boy in year five who had started to think and write about his attraction to boys, who was told by his bullies that being gay was demonic, that God hated him and that he was going to hell. When questioned by the teacher, the bully said, but we were just telling him what the Bible says, and it's what God says. On one occasion, when crossing a road, one student said to the boy that he should stay on the road and get run over and die because he was gay and God hated him. The student froze and had to be pulled off the road by one of his friends. The teacher logged an incident report but was later told that it had been lost and so there was no record. The boy tried to harm himself. Again, he was told he was going to hell and was possessed by a demon. The teacher persisted in writing up incident reports after each incident and eventually the bullies were suspended. But the victim was being treated as though he was the real problem and the teacher was warned against overstepping my role. The teacher then tells of coming to terms with their own sexuality at the same time as this was happening acknowledging that they could not safely tell anyone at the school. And they eventually had their position at the school cut. They write, So far as I'm aware, I lost my job not because I was gay. I lost my job just for trying to ensure a safe environment for my gay students. The teacher also wrote of a second boy, a 12-year-old, who had a very outgoing, flamboyant personality and was a talented singer and actor. Now, over the course of the year, the student was getting more and more negative attention from his class teachers and senior staff over issues like his attitude and emotionality, and he was the target of some verbal homophobic bullying from other students. One day, the teacher found him curled up on the floor, sob sobbing and shaking behind a door. He told me that the deputy principal had said that he didn't like the way he talked. The deputy principal had said to his student, you disgust me. The boy described feeling angry and confused because he didn't know how to be a different person from who he was. He didn't know how to be a different person to who he was. This is absolutely heartbreaking. No person, let alone a 12-year-old, should ever be made to feel ashamed of who they are. And no person, let alone a child, should ever experience this harassment, bullying, shaming behaviour anywhere in society, <coughs> let alone in a school, let alone from a teacher. The teacher said, schools like my former workplace rely on the exemptions not necessarily directly to expel students or sack staff, but indirectly to legitimate their poor treatment of LGBT students and staff. Schools are supposed to be safe places where teachers support and nurture young people, not where teachers tell students, you disgust me. During our inquiry, we have considered the government's proposed amendments to the Removing Discrimination Schools Bill. If these amendments were adopted, they would further entrench the rights of religious schools to discriminate against LGBTIQ students, staff and teachers. Our Greens amendments, in contrast, would remove discrimination against staff as well as students, because otherwise schools will continue to be unsafe places for lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, gender diverse and queer students teachers and other staff. LGBTIQ people should not work, walk through the school gates every morning and wonder if they'll be marched out by the afternoon just because of who they are. 
The Greens believe that religious schools should be able to teach according to their faith, to the doctrines of their faith, but not in a way that causes harm to LGBTQ plus people. We know that it's possible for faith-based schools to teach their faith and not discriminate against same-sex attracted and gender diverse people, because this is how it's been in Tasmania and Queensland for decades. The rest of Australia needs to catch up. It's time to remove all discrimination in our schools. We can and we must. No ifs, no buts.